April in Wisconsin and it's snowing again. I've done something as a wilderness teacher that I'm a little bit ashamed of. And I, I take flint and steel and I go and I um, have a class, a survival and flint and steel fire class for uh, kids at some local uh, schools. And for years I have been telling them how this works, the flint and steel. What I've been saying is that when the rock contacts the steel, the stone is actually harder than the steel and breaks off pieces of steel. The sparks that we see are essentially molten steel. And if we could look at them under a microscope, I say, we would see these tiny, perfectly round balls where those sparks have flown off, cooled in the air, basically as little pieces of lava, and then have fallen down and become these small spheres. Well, here's the thing. I had heard that that was the truth, but I had never been able to check it out until I recently got my hands on a microscope. So I would like to show you what I found. I struck the flint and steel into a white bowl and then took a close look. At first, all I saw were shards of steel and some broken bits of chert. But then, there it was, the first small round orb. The more I looked, the more I found. Looks like I was not leading those children astray. That when chert strikes steel, we get small sparks which are actually molten pieces of metal. And when they don't hit char cloth, they cool in the air into small round orbs. I'm hypothesizing that the shards of steel are on the end of this stroke. When the stone and steel scrape together, at first you have enough power that sparks are thrown, but then it's scraping along with less force, enough to scrape pieces of metal off, but not to make them molten. I certainly found this interesting and I'm hoping that you did too. If you ever teach somebody flint and steel, feel free to tell them that indeed the sparks are pieces of steel, molten steel, that are flying through the air, and if they cool in the air, they turn into these little round balls, which are too small for us to see with the naked eye. Thanks for watching.